is Dr. P. Srilatha, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, I am going to discuss about problems on test of hypothesis for single proportion and test of hypothesis for difference of proportions. First one, sample proportion. In a random experiment, the total number of events are n and the exhaustive events are x. Then the sample proportion is denoted by p. p equal to x by n. That is equal to number of exhaustive events divided by total number of events. So, for example, in a manufacturing company, out of 200 goods, 18 were uh, defective. Then the sample proportion is p of x equal to n. So, here, observe carefully, the total number of events are n, uh, and the exhaustive events are x. Okay, exhaustive events are x. That means uh, x divided by n. The total number of events are here 200 and the exhaustive events are 18. So, that means x value is uh, 18 and n value is 200. That's why 18 by 200. So, p value is 18 by 200. So, note, if population proportion capital e P is generally we take P equal to 0.5. Test of hypothesis for single proportion. Suppose a large sample of size n is taken from the population. The sample proportion is small p and the population proportion is capital P. Then the test statistic z is given by z equal to small p minus capital P divided by under root of p q by n. So where q equal to 1 minus p. So the confidence interval for single proportion p is p minus uh, 3 into under root of pq by n comma p plus 3 into under root of pq by n. So, this is the confidence interval or we can write uh, p equal to plus or minus 3 into under root of pq by n. But the single proportion formula is z equal to small p. Small p minus capital P divided by under root of pq by n. Small p is nothing but uh, sample proportion and capital P is uh, population proportion. Population proportion. Population proportion. Proportion. Okay. So, first problem. Experience has shown that 20% of the manufacturer are top quality. In one day production of 400 articles, only 50 are top quality. Test the Hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. So, here they have given that uh, capital P equal to 20 percentage. Okay. So, in that uh, small x is 50 and uh, small n is 400. Okay. Test the hypothesis at 0 0.05 level. That means alpha equal to 0 0.05 level of significance. Okay, so here the sample proportion, the sample proportion P equal to X by N. So, X value is uh, 50 and N value is 400. So, 50 by 400 that is equal to 0 0.125, small p equal to. So, then capital P equal to 20 percentage, capital P equal to 20 percentage that is nothing but 20 by 100 that means 0 0.2. Okay, so capital P equal to, capital Q equal to 1 minus capital P. So 1 minus capital P is 0 0.2, 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So capital P equal to 0 0.2 and uh, capital Q equal to 0 0.8. Next, step 1, null hypothesis. So here I am taking the population proportion capital P value. Null hypothesis that is denoted with the H naught that is equal to P equal to 0 0.2. Population proportion 0 0.2. So, the alternative hypothesis is capital P equal P not equal to 0 0.2. Capital P not equal to 0 0.2. Okay. So, what is our question? Here we need to test the hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. Right. So, that's why null in the null hypothesis that is denoted with H naught that is equal to P equal to 0 0.2. Alternative hypothesis is always denoted with H1. Okay. So, the alternative hypothesis here is I am taking P not equal to 0 0.2. Then the level of significance alpha equal to 0 0.3 in that in the question they have mentioned that 0 0.05. So, then Z alpha will be 1.96 at 0 0.05 level of significance. 
test statistics z equal to small p minus capital p divided by under root of pq by n small p is we know that uh, so that is uh, 0 0.125 0 0.125 and capital p is 0 0.2 capital P is 0 0.2 divided by under root of PQ. P is 0 0.2 into Q value is 0 0.8 divided by N value is 400. So, after simplification, we will get the Z equal to minus 3.75. So, but uh, modulus of Z is uh, uh, 3.75. Okay, so therefore the modulus of Z, we have to convert the negative value into positive. After that, the step 5 is conclusion. That step 5 is modulus of Z greater than Z alpha. Why it will be greater than Z alpha? Because the modulus of Z value is 3.75 and the Z alpha value, the Z alpha value is 1.96. Z alpha value is 1.96. So 3.75 is greater than 1.96. So that's why modulus of Z greater than Z alpha. Therefore, we reject null hypothesis. So we reject our statement. Null hypothesis is nothing but a given statement. Alternative hypothesis is nothing but opposite to the null hypothesis. Next, in a sample of 1000 people in Karnataka, 540 are rice eaters and the rest are wheat eaters. Can we assume that both rice and wheat eaters are equally popular in the state at 1% level of significance? So, here in the question they have mentioned that they have given that sample size n equal to 1000. Sample size n equal to 1000. In Karnataka, 540 are rice eaters. That's why we have to take the x equal to 540. The rest are wheat eaters, okay? So, we can assume that both rice and wheat eaters are equally popular in the state at 1% level of significance, okay? So, here we need to find at 1% level of significance. That means alpha equal to 1 percentage. So, n equal to 1000, x equal to 540. So, the sample proportion, sample proportion, P equal to x by n. x is 540 divided by n value is 1000. So, that's why that will be 0 0.54. So, capital P. So, here they have not mentioned capital P value. So, we assume that the both rice and uh, wheat eaters, uh, wheat are equally popular with the state at 1% level of significance. So, we have to assume that P equal to 0 0.5 and Q is uh, Nothing but 1 minus P, that is 1 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 0 0.5. Q equal to 0 0.5. Null hypothesis. So, coming to the null hypothesis. So, in this null hypothesis, uh, I am taking uh, population proportion. So, the given statement. Null hypothesis is nothing but given statement. Alternative hypothesis is no nothing but opposite to the Null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is denoted with H0 and alternative hypothesis is denoted with H1. So, null hypothesis H0 equal to P equal to 0 0.5. Alternative hypothesis H1 is P0 equal to 0 0.5. Then the level of significance alpha is. So, in the equation they have mentioned that 1% level of significance. So, that's why this will be alpha equal to 0 0.01. Then at alpha equal to 0 0.01, 0 0.01, alpha equal to 0 0.01, then Z alpha will be 2.58. Now, step 4, test statistic. Z equal to small p minus capital P divided by under root of PQ by N. So, small p value is 0 0.54 and capital P value is 0 0.5. So, small p is 0 0.54 minus capital P value is 0 0.5 divided by under root of 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 divided by N value is 1000. Z equal to 2 point. After simplification of this one, we will get 2.532. So, then modulus of Z equal to 2.532. So, conclusion is modulus of Z is 2.532 and Z alpha value is, this Z alpha value is 2.58, 2.58. So, modulus of Z less than Z alpha, 2.532 is less than 2.58. Then that will be modulus of Z less than Z alpha. So, therefore, we accept the null hypothesis. Now, coming to the next method. Test of hypothesis for difference of proportions. 
consider two large samples of sizes n1 and n2 taken from the population the sample proportions are p1 comma p2 small p1 comma p2 and the population proportion is uh, uh, population proportion is capital p then the test statistic z is given by z equal to small p1 minus p2 divided by under root of pq into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 where p equal to n1 p1 plus n2 p2 divided by n1 plus n2 q equal to 1 minus p q equal to 1 minus p first problem in a sample of 500 people in tamil nadu 280 are tea eaters are tea drinkers not eaters 280 are tea drinkers and rest are coffee drinkers. Can we assume that both coffee and tea are equally popular in the state at 1% level of significance? Okay. So, in this question, they have mentioned that N1 value and N2 value is both are same. So, that means N1 equal to N2 equal to 500. N1 equal to N2 equal to 500. And X1 is, X1 is 2AT and X2 is both uh, remaining one so 500 minus 280 that will be 220 so remaining are uh, coffee drinkers right so the rest are coffee drinkers means uh, x1 is uh, 280 means uh, x2 is uh, 220 so x1 is 280 and x2 is 220 so p1 equal to x1 by n1 so population sample proportion p1 equal to x1 by n1 so x1 is 280 by n1 value is 500 so that is nothing but 0 0.56 P2 equal to X2 by N2. So, X2 value here, the X2 value is 220. So, 220 divided by N2 value is 500. 220 by 500, that is equal to 0 0.44. Okay. So, step 1, null hypothesis. So, here, null hypothesis is denoted with H0 and alternative hypothesis is denoted with H1. So, null hypothesis H0 equal to P1 equal to P2. Okay. So, here I am taking... Now both the uh, proportions are equal. Okay, here I am taking the both the proportions are equal and alternative hypothesis that is nothing but the given statement is uh, P1 equal to P2 and uh, alternative hypothesis is nothing but opposite to the null hypothesis that is P1 not equal to P2. Level of significance alpha equal to 1% then Z alpha will be 2.58. Then next test statistic is the formula is z equal to p1 minus p2 divided by and the root of pq into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2. So p1 is uh, so before that we need to find small p value and small q value. So small p value is nothing but n1 p1 plus n2 p2 divided by n1 plus n2. This is our formula. Otherwise p equal to x1 plus x2 divided by n1 plus n2. So we can use this formula also. So x1 value is 280 and x2 value is 220 divided by n1 plus n2 is 1000. n1 plus n2 is 1000. From that we will get uh, 0 0.5. And Q is nothing but 1 minus P. So, that is 1 minus uh, small p, 1 minus 0 0.5, that is 0 0.5. So, Q equal to 0 0.5. So, Z equal to P1 minus P2. So, Z equal to small P1 minus small P2 divided by under root of PQ into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. So, P1 value is uh, 0 0.56, right? P1 value is 0 0.56 and P2 value is 0 0.44. 0 0.56 minus 0 0.44 into divided by under root of 0 pq into so p value is 0 0.5 and q value is also 0 0.5 pq into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 1 by n1 n1 value is 500 plus n2 value is 500 so after simplification we will get z equal to 3.79 but we need to find modulus of z so the modulus of z is 3.79 conclusion so, modulus of Z is 3.79 and Z alpha is 2.58. Z alpha is 2.58. So, 3.79 is greater than 2.58. So, therefore, modulus of Z greater than Z alpha. Therefore, we reject our null hypothesis. That means, uh, we reject our statement. That means, uh, the given statement is wrong statement. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.